watch space movies or if you read science fiction novels, you've certainly heard of black holes. Well, what is a black hole and how does it work? Very big questions. And to begin with, I want to start by reminding you of a couple of things that you already know. If you take an object and you let go of it, it falls downwards. Gravity pulls it towards the centre of the Earth. You know that, don't you? In fact, gravity is a force that's pulling every object in the universe to every other object. Remember that, we'll come back to it a little later on. Second thing I want you to remind yourself about, when you go outside at night and look at the hundreds of stars in the sky, you know that they are only a few of the millions of stars that exist in the universe. And those stars are each like suns. You might say, but they're much smaller. Oh yes, that's because they're further away. In fact, many of them are much larger than our sun, but they're big balls of flame. Well, when astronomers look through special instruments at some of those stars, they occasionally see strange things. This one is distorted because nearby there's a black hole. Now, a black hole is an old star that started to shrink. And as it gets smaller and smaller, it changes in many different ways. It gets to a point where it explodes and becomes what's called a supernova. A lot of material is thrown off, but the material that's left continues to shrink and to concentrate itself, and so gravity, that pull, towards other things, becomes greater and greater. So it pulls all sorts of things in towards itself. Other planets, stars, it acts like a well or a funnel. Things are pulled towards it and they can't escape. Now that sounds a very difficult explanation, doesn't it? Let's take something simple, a kitchen funnel, and see if we can make it make a little bit more sense. I'll take a ball bearing and I'm gonna spin this around inside the funnel. But before I do, I want you to notice something. The walls of the funnel slope inwards. When they get to that point there, it suddenly becomes a lot steeper. Watch and listen to what happens to the spinning ball bearing, particularly as we get to that point. Here we go. Watch carefully. Right, you saw the ball bearing get faster and faster and faster. When it got to the narrow part, it sped up so much that it just vanished down the hole. Well, it's a little bit like that with a black hole. It's a space out there in space where things are pulled in towards it. Nothing can escape, not even light. So any matter that's around disappears into the black hole. And we don't see anything when we look towards a black hole because not even the light can escape. So if you become an astronaut and start exploring the universe, stay well away from black holes.